Good afternoon and welcome to Varick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our little 2013 model Mitsubishi Mirage hatchback this afternoon. I don't see a lot of these in used cars so I'm always happy when uh, we do get a couple of them. Starting at the front of the car, as you can see, finished in silver. A few minor little stone chip marks just on our front bumper bar consistent with the case that it's done, a couple of little touch-ups on our bonnet as well. It does have fog lights in the bottom of our front bumper as well. Um, as we come around to the uh, right-hand side of the car, factory alloy wheels on this little Mirage, brand new tyres on the front of this car as well. Did come with colour-coded outer, outer mirrors and door handles. A minor little scuff on our right-hand outer mirror there um, and a couple of minor little marks on our driver's door as well little bit of polish just left on the car by the detailers which will tidy up um, but overall apart from a couple of minor little blemishes on that rear door also um, the rear alloy wheel not a scuff mark on it so it's as new as we come around to the rear of the car minor little scratch just on the, the edge of our rear bumper bar um, does have the tailgate spoiler the Mirage with the high mount stop light in the spoiler um, also a very minor scratch just running through the hatchback there. Um, the distinctive uh, chrome badging which gives it that little extra bit of uh, appearance. And as we come around the passenger side, presents quite well, not a, not a scratch on the alloy wheels. A couple of very minor little marks just on our uh, passenger door there. That's a bit of dirt actually. Um, and a minor little mark on our outer door handle which will polish off without a doubt. So overall, the exterior presentation of this little car is quite good. We're into the front of the Mirage now, and we'll have a little bit of a chat about the, uh, the performance, or more importantly, the economy. Um, yeah, the whole reason when these were first, uh, first produced was to get the most economical little car on the road that we could. Um, and the 1.2 litre three-cylinder motor gives us 57 kilowatts of power and 100 newton metres of torque. Um, but the most important thing is 4.9 litres per 100 k's. So even though they're only a 35 litre fuel tank, you're going to get in excess of 714 kilometres to one tank of fuel. Back around to the rear of the car now. For a really small little hatch, quite a generous com storage compartment there. It drops down into the rear, as you can see, and... Um, Still got a lot of storage area. We've also got the ability to drop our rear seats down if we need to, um, just for that additional storage space. Um, and down, right down below our cover here, we've got our space saver spare wheel there, which obviously has never been on the car. So here we are inside the little Mirage now. We'll just run through all the features. It's a fairly simple setup, but it's got everything that you need. All of our power window switches are just on our driver's armrest and then our power mirror controls just up above that. Uh, a traction control button there as well. Um, our air conditioning vents to the side now. Important to note this car is a push start, um, push start, a push button start. Yeah, that sounds better. Um, our steering wheel is height adjustable so we can set ourselves up where we're nice and comfy, lock it into position by the use of that lever there and we're good to go does also have auto headlights so they will turn themselves on automatically as darkness approaches and on our steering wheel we've got all of our audio controls here um, Bluetooth controls directly below that moving into the middle section now uh, we've got our AM FM radio with CD player our auxiliary uh, input there to the side the car does also support uh, music streaming um, so if you've paired your Bluetooth up to the car you can stream your mu music through the uh, through the stereo as well which is good. Um, down below that we've got our climate control air conditioning. Set it to whatever temperature we require, hit the auto button and away we go. Down below that little storage compartment there, a couple of cup holders directly behind that. Um, our automatic transmission, it is a one speed auto, um, the little Mirage, so uh, handbrake behind that. Another cup holder for the rear passenger there. Um, the other important thing to have a good look at is the uh, condition of the interior. Seats are in really good condition, so are all the carpets for that matter, and even the door trims as well. Um, the good thing about this car is that it does represent a lot of safety as well. Uh, our airbag safety does give it a five star ANCAP safety rating. 
Um, the other important thing to notice, we'll just have a look at the first registered date. So still under new car warranty till the 20th of June 2018. So a really good peace of mind. Longest factory warranty you can get uh, being a Mitsubishi. And then we have a look at our service history and every service has been stamped and completed at the correct intervals. Currently done 91,000 Ks and the last service carried out on the 11th of April. So outstanding history as well. So just in summary, the most important thing to mention, uh, 4.9 litres combined per 100 Ks. To think that you've got a car with a 35 litre fuel tank that's still going to get you in excess of 700 kilometres. Five star ANCAP safety rating. If you want a car that's cheap to run, cheap to maintain, still under new car warranty till 2018, and you can extend it further, as you can see by the banner on the car, if you wish. So give us a call and ask about all those things on 9907 555.